let's close off this all one okay now let's uh, uh, look at the next problem uh, that is the Armstrong number now where is Armstrong number Armstrong number okay to determine whether the given number is an Armstrong number now of course uh, to be able to actually uh, write the code for that uh, we need to be very clear about what exactly is an uh, Armstrong number okay if the number uh, can be expressed as the sum of cube of its digits the number is called an Armstrong number okay the sum can be expressed as a sum of cube of its digits sum of cube of its digits uh, is uh, okay so let's say uh, 153 one 153 okay is equal to what does it say sum of cube of its digits so 1 cube plus 5 cube plus 3 cube now which is equal to what 1 plus 125 plus 9 uh, now is it really a sum of cube of its digits uh, so 5 5 is a 25 5 is a 125 okay 3 3 is a 9 3 is a 27 it should come now this is equal to what 7 plus 5 12 plus 1 13 1 1 okay 5 and 1 so 153 right so this is an example of a Armstrong number okay so it's very important to be clear about uh, uh, these kind of things so that uh, we can actually write the code by looking at the example itself okay so uh, now we require what all we require uh, remember we have to go digit by digit by digit so which means we require a loop so let's have a uh, variable n naturally we require sum naturally we require num and digit okay so clear screen okay now even if you can't make out uh, which particular uh, variables are required or not required you keep going forward and as and when you feel the need for a particular variable uh, you can come back and uh, declare it okay so see out uh, enter the number now this number would be nothing but our 153 in the example above okay and seen this is our n num is equal to n so now basically we are maintaining a copy of that number okay sum naturally initially it will be zero okay now we set up the loop so do do while while what while uh, okay we, we we really can't figure out now as of now so let's let's uh, go into the loop now remember we require in each individual digit and i remember we have already done this type of picking up the individual digits uh, okay so if you remember we did something like this percent 10 now for what is that percent stands for uh, it basically returns it divides number by 10 and whatever is a 
remainder that is stored in digits so digit is equal to num percent 10 so sum is equal to sum plus remember digit into digit into digit that is a cube so in our case 153 divided by 10 gives you what 15.3 now that is stored in digit oh, sorry remainder is what 3 so that is stored in digit so 3 3 is a 9 3 is a 27 sum is initially 0 so 27 plus 0 is 27 that is stored in sum okay uh, then what then we need to divide n by 10 so that first digit is removed so here what happens 153 divided by 10 gives us 15.3 when it is stored back in n which is an int integer uh, that point 3 gets truncated so we are left with 15 okay now in the second loop what happens um, it gets divided by 2 uh, by 10 so 15 divided by 10 gives us 1.5 uh, remainder is 5 so 5 gets stored in digit so 5 into 5 into 5 125 plus 27 gets stored in sum again 1 um, uh, 15 divided by 10 is 1.5 stored in n which is an int becomes 1 uh, and the whole loop again repeats so in the final loop what happens uh, 1 divided by 10 gives 1 0.1 point 0.1 one when it's stored in an int becomes 0 so which means that we have to keep repeating this loop till n doesn't become equal to 0 so till it is not equal to 0 it has to be repeated okay now if sum is equal to num remember uh, uh, sum of cube of digits is equal to the number itself so remember n we had stored it in num also so if sum is equal to num then it is an Armstrong number okay so c out it is an armstrong number okay else naturally opposite of that it is not an armstrong number okay and get ch okay now let's run it and see what happens 153 it is not an armstrong number something wrong it should have been an armstrong number if sum is equal to n okay since uh, we really one way of uh, making uh, figuring out where exactly the problem is is to display intermediate results so c out digit okay uh, set width say 5 and uh, sum okay now let's run it again 153 so 3 273 5, 543 81 okay okay so now we're, let's actually also include a new line okay so that we can really understand it okay 153 so 3 
ट्वेंटी सेवन डिजिट इज कमिंग एज थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन थ्री फिफ्टी फोर थ्री एटी वन ओके 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 एवरी टाइम डिजिट इज कमिंग एज थ्री वेर एज इट्स सपोज टू कीप चेंजिंग ओके सो वी नीड टू ऑल्सो डिस्प्ले एन लेट्स से एन ओके एन सेट विथ फाइव लेट्स रन इट अगेन वन फिफ्टी थ्री सो फर्स्ट टाइम फिफ्टीन थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन सेकेंड टाइम रिमाइंडर शुड कम एस फाइव नम नम इज नॉट गेटिंग अपडेटेड एन नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो इज करेक्ट दिस num remains the same because we are not updating that so this should be n okay so let's see here 153 so 15 3 27 152 it is an armstrong number great okay now what we can do is don't delete this line because you never know you might want to come back and try to understand it okay so you have just commented it so let's run it again with a non armstrong number so 175 it is not an armstrong number and just to keep it display proper okay now let's save it let's run it once again 153 yes file quit save yes